Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have something really cool to show you and um, of course something from the 90s and not just from like that I remember but I'm sure a lot of you guys do too and it's pretty cool and I remember uh, it's a series of dolls. They came out in a belt. I remember getting them Christmas of 98, 97, 98 but it's a band. And the band first came out from what I remember in 1996. And the minute I heard their first single, I absolutely was like drawn in like every other teenage or preteen or whatnot <laughs> girl at that time. And immediately I was hooked and I had to have all the merchandise, everything that they ever made. And of course I am talking about the Spice Girls. I have <clears throat> all five of their Barbies and I would love to show them to you today. They are not, however, made by Mattel. They are made by a company called Galoob, who is no longer around. So, I will get started with them. So, the first one, this is no particular order, nothing like that. The first one I have to show you is Scary Spice, Mel B. And I really liked the On Tour uh, models better than the regular ones. There is her doll, and she comes with a little sticker and her shoes and glasses. Now, they had like little mini dolls that came in the box with them, but over time they have fallen down. You can see it up there. That's what they looked like. So it was like a mini version of this doll with the miniature box and everything. And there is like facts about her on the back, what she looks like. The next one I have is Ginger Spice or Jerry Hollowell. Of all the Barbies, this is the one that most resembles the character. There's her little sticker. What do they all say? Spice Girls, Girl Power, stuff like that. If you guys want to take the time to read that. She as well comes with a little tiny doll. Like I said, over time they have all fallen in the bottom. The next one I have is Mel C or Sporty Spice. Even the packaging is pretty cool. I had, um, well I had a VHS, uh, I had Spice World of course, everybody did, but I had another uh, VHS tape that was called One Hour of Girl Power and it was just like behind the scenes things with the girls in it. It was funny. It was cute at that time. Okay, then we have Emma, or Baby Spice. It was always the toss-up. Like, Ginger was my favorite, but I also really liked her as well. And it seems like the thing when I was a preteen growing up, the thing was blonde hair and blue eyes. Everybody had to have blonde hair and blue eyes. And of course, the last one. Now, she was probably like my least favorite, honestly, at the time. And that is Posh or Victoria. Oh, I also remember, too, um, they sold at the corner store where I used to live, they sold these lollipops with the Spice Girls on them. And in the lollipop itself was like pictures of the Spice Girls. It was really weird, but it was really cool. But inside the wrapper that um, the lollipop came in were stickers. Uh, there were stickers of the girls or various things like that. And I think there was like 30 or 50 to collect. But I went every single day and bought like three or four lollipops. And in like a month and a half time, I had all of the stickers and I put them, I took like a folder from school and I stuck them all on a folder. I couldn't even tell you where that is, what had happened to it, but I just remember, you know, this is, that's what we did back in 1998. It was a good time and that was a really cool part of my childhood. I'm sure a lot of you as well. If you guys remember the Spice Girls or you collected any of their merchandise or the movie or anything like that, feel free to comment and let me know. Thanks. Have a good day.